Yeah, thank you, thank you. Hey, I shed blood two years ago in this arena at UFC Fight Night Salt Lake City. I'm not gonna shed any blood today, uh, maybe a little later during practice, but I'm gonna share a little bit of my story and I don't have much time. So September 9th, 2005, just two years out of high school, I overdosed on heroin. And it started in high school, I was prescribed pain pills because of an injury sustained as an athlete. But I overdosed on that night and it was an accident. I was pronounced clinically dead for some eight minutes. They did CPR and defibrillations and a narcotics officer who found the syringe that I overdosed on called and said he needs Narcolone, it was an opiate overdose. So they brought me back. And that was the worst and best day of my life. The one really important thing that changed my life was a role model with a solution uh, came to my bedside after I came to. He was a role model with a solution. He had long-term sobriety. And he outlined a program of recovery for me. And with some slips, over the next six months, I established my sobriety, which is April 16th, 2006. That's 4,563 days of continuous sobriety. I've been through nine... Thank you. In the eight years I've been in the UFC, I've been through nine surgeries, and I've done all of them completely non-narcotic. Because I know where it takes me. Now, I lost everything September 9th, 2005. I lost everything. And at that rock bottom, on April 16, 2006, I built a foundation. I surrounded myself with people in long-term recovery. And that, that role model with the solution that outlined a program of recovery for me, I followed what he said. And just shy of five years later, and 4,000 hours of hard training, I made it on season 11 of The Ultimate Fighter, and I won that season with a six-figure contract. More important than that, I dedicated that fight to all those who were struggling. See, I'm, I'm motivated and I'm determined as an athlete. I've had, uh, I drove 600 miles to be here, because this is important. This is my driving force as an athlete. I fight two weeks from Saturday, uh, UFC Fight Night 83 in New Brunswick, Canada. It'll be on Fox Sports 1, October 27th. And outside of that story, on the 28th, I'll be celebrating 10 years of marriage. I fell in love with my high school sweetheart at 15 years old, and I met her on the Leighton High soccer field. I've been chasing her for 17 years. We've been together longer than we haven't, and she's here supporting me in the back. I have two amazing sons. I've I, I've had all these opportunities in my life. My last eight, 17 fights have been in the UFC at the highest level in the world. And all that's because I'm sober. All that's because I'm in recovery. Right? And that's all wonderful, but this next little portion, I'm gonna need some, uh, I'm gonna need some help from the audience. How many of you honestly are sitting next to two of your close friends? By the raise of hands. All right, I like that. See, I, I was never a part of any of this when I was in high school. But I would have been, if I was in this audience and I would have been sitting next to my two friends, it would have been Brady and Cody. Kids that I grew up with since before grade school. Now, all three of us had one thing absolute in common. We had the disease of addiction inherent in our personality long before we took those pills we were prescribed for pain. Long before we smoked a joint, long before we drank any alcohol, we had the disease of addiction inherent in our personality. Now all three of us overdosed accidentally. I had the chance to come back. I was given a second chance, but they didn't. Both of them died. One on my six year sobriety birthday, that was Brady, and Cody died early on this spring and I saw the damage that it caused to their family and their children. You show me your friends and I'll show you your future. That's the truth. 
That's the truth of this disease. Now, everybody in here can accomplish incredible things, but I promise you, you can't accomplish it loaded. You will not be a better student or a better son. You will have to lead a double life, and you will go down a deep, dark hole, the same hole I was in September 9th, 2005. I was trying to overcome an addiction beyond my mental control. I can't use a drink. Today, I choose to live. So after winning the Ultimate Fighter, uh, I was asked to do my first appearance. It was crazy. They, were wanted me to pay, they wanted to pay me money to sign my name. And so I sat down at this event, and I signed my name. And this old guy said he snuck out of church. It was a Sunday. And he was like, uh, I don't know what you do, this M&A stuff. He pronounced it wrong. He had no idea what he was talking about. But my grandson absolutely loves you. He says you're the greatest, but you know, will you give him something inspirational? And this is what I'm going to leave you with was the very first autograph I signed. I said, always work hard and never give up on your dreams. Thank you.